Zer is in Watcher's Grave in Nessus. He's currently selling the Lightkin armor. So if you weren't here for a season of the Spicer, then I highly recommend this armor for the Warlocks and Hunters. Titans, you might, I don't know, uh, might as well look to see if you like the armor pieces, but specifically for the Hunters, the arms, I actually like a lot because of the fur. The cloak is really good because it's literally just a big, big fur everywhere. The legs and the and the helmet and the chest piece are fine. They're cool in my opinion, but I would definitely prioritize the arms or the cloak. But again, if you have enough, you might as well get the whole armor because it's really good. And you might never know when you need pieces. For the warlock, the chest piece is the best part from that whole season in my opinion. That chest piece is beautiful and I highly suggest you pick that one up. Uh, the legs are okay, the arms are actually pretty okay as well and the helmet I was not a big fan of. Uh, the Titans on the other hand, I actually did like the chest piece. It's just that the chest is asymmetrical, the color, the shadering, so be aware of that. The arms are really cool as well because it does have fur on it and other than that the mark is not my cup of tea personally and the legs are can be used in certain situations but yeah this armor is definitely some of the coolest pieces that you'll get and you'll definitely be able to use this in whatever set you're trying to do uh for the weapons themselves he's selling Ikelos smg with subsistence and disruption break which is decent uh imperial needle with hip fire grip and swashbuckler which is Cool if you're doing a melee build, uh, Eternal Blazon, which has Overflow and Rangefinder, which I would ignore. Wishbringer, which has Threat Detector, Auto Loading Holster, but it's Wish Ender, so, or Wishbringer, so I would ignore it as well. Distant Timulus with Clown Cartridge and Quick Draw, I would ignore this one as well. Behringer's Memory with, I'm not even going to say, because this is a grenade launcher and it's a pretty bad old one at that. And the Swarm with Killing Wind and One for All, which is not bad actually. And as for the exotics, we have Hawk Moon, which has opening shot, which is interesting. And then Dead Man's Tail with subsistence, which is actually really good if you're doing like ad clear. Because once you have the damage buff from the cranial spine or cranial spike, then you're one shotting pretty much everything, which means you're like really you never really reload unless you're uh, unless you're not hitting your shots. And the rolls on the armor is still bugs, so it doesn't even matter. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely, definitely pick up this armor if you don't have it. And I will see you guys later.